Hey, bro, you want to see me flex my butt muscles? Shut up! Touchdown! Yeah, throw the ball! Bros, do I look ready to party or what? Oh, oh God, that, that outfit, outfit is hideous, hideous but will, will he get, get mad, mad at me if I, if I tell him the, the truth? truth? Ah, screw, screw it. We're, we're all friends, friends here. The other guys will probably tell the truth, the too. too. <laughs> Are you kidding? You got friggin' moon boots, you got three pop collars, and you got a long sleeve shirt under a t-shirt? I mean, what? Are you stuck in the friggin' 90s or what? <laughs> Has something like this ever happened to you? Don't worry, I'm here to help. The dark, dark, free, manly! Science has taught us that being manly is essential to keeping our penises from falling off. Trust me, it happened to my uncle when he watched The Notebook four times in a row. Today, I'll teach you how to stay manly around your guy friends, because the second your bros find out that you're lacking manliness, they'll devour you like a pack of hungry, hungry hippos. All right, let's be real here, guys. The new One Direction song isn't that bad, right? Kill them! <laughs> One of the most sensitive subjects between bros is how they compliment each other. Give them a compliment that is positive, but doesn't make it sound like you want to give them a little heat to their meat. How do I look, bro? You look fabulous! I would tap that. You look like an ugly piece of sh. You look like a hot piece of ass! What? I mean, you look like Spock's naked ass. I was thinking the same thing, bro! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, your nipples are hard, bro. How people perceive you is very important. As much as you may love your girlfriend, you can't show any of that crap in front of your guy friends. I love you. I want to name our baby Bernard. It's a girl. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> hey, uh, just this is my stupid girlfriend being a stupid girl. Yeah, girls are stupid! Oh. <laughs> Body language is a big deal. Let's say you're hanging out at the club and you're single and ready to mingle. It may be comfortable to sit like this. Ew. Ew. But if you cross your legs like that, you're just screaming, I'm a little girly girl and I wish I was at a tampon party instead. F that shit. Here's some manly ways to sit. The gigantic genitalia, the 90s heartthrob, the gargoyle, the overdone meme from 2011, the doggy style, the air chair, and finally, the reversal. If you've sat in one of these manly ways, chances are you've attracted a lot of hot, smoking babes. Now comes the ultimate test of your manliness, dancing. So make sure you use only the most manliest moves possible, like these. The Minor Seizure, The Runner, The Creepy Molester, The Dookie Brown, The Chris Brown, Seriously, f that guy, The Neighbor, The Dick Cheney. Oh, sorry, thought you were a bird. The Cheney Dick, or the pay a black guy to dance for you. And as everyone knows, the best way to acquire manliness is to absorb it from another man. Allow me to demonstrate. The, the, the molester! What? I just wanted to suck out your manliness! <laughs> well, that's it for today's lesson. Join me next time for Guy's Guide to Escaping a Police Car. <laughs> to see bloopers and deleted scenes, sick nail tits, bro! Click the video right here. Click right here to see Guy's Guide to Subscribing to Smosh. Okay, okay, I just lied. It just makes you subscribe. I'm a golden guy! Yeah, man! How about the f*** out of your mouth? Awesome. I know, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's your beer, baby. I get butt dibs. We are not dating, bitch.